I'm Jaime Gutierrez, and this is the Fox Valley Voice, and we are at the Baker Community Center in St. Charles for a swing dance party. Uh, as you can see and hear behind me, we've got Miss Jubilee and the Humdingers all the way from St. Louis are on stage, and we've got the Tri-City Swing Group are on the dance floor putting their moves out there. Uh, much, much better than I am, so we'll just let the dancing to them, and uh, let's take a look. Now here with Kevin and Michelle Green. Hi, guys. Hi, how are you doing? Hello. Uh, thank you so much for letting us come and hang out with you guys tonight. Tell me a little bit about what's going on here. Well, you are here at our fourth or fifth dance that we've had so far. Uh, we've got Miss Jubilee and the Humdingers up here from St. Louis. And um, this is a little thing we started doing uh, last year in January. Michelle and I moved out here, and, and we love it out here in St. Charles. But the one thing missing was one of our favorite things, which was swing dancing. Um, that's how we met. Uh, we met swing dancing in New York. And, you know, I got a lot of, I got a lot of great stuff out of it, you know. Yeah, I can see. Yeah. Um, and, and this is the type of thing we want to share with uh, everybody, everybody we meet, you know, everybody else. And that was the one thing that we didn't have enough of out here. So we said, you know, we're not going to just sit here and, you know, grouse about it. We're going to start, we started making more dancers and we started making more dances. So we started teaching classes. We started holding small DJ events. And uh, this is, I think, um, looking like it's going to be our biggest dance so far. So it just keeps growing. So pretty excellent. How about you, Michelle? What do you think about all this? I think it's amazing and wonderful, and um, the community out here has been so um, fantastic and it has really embraced us. Uh, Batavia Main Street specifically has done an amazing job with embracing us and really promoting us, and uh, yeah, so it's just been a really, really amazing thing to do, to be able to bring some musical acts like this to St. Charles and Batavia and Geneva, I mean, top-notch music, you know, so it's great, absolutely. We are now here talking with Carrie Willis. She was one of our teachers for the lesson tonight. Hi, Carrie. Hi, how are you? I'm doing all right. How are you? I'm excellent. Now, uh, how long have you been involved with Tri-City Swing? Oh, we just started working with them a little bit this year, so it's only been a couple months, actually. Okay. And how's it going so far? It is going really, really well. They're amazing. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your background? When did you get started with swing dancing? goodness. Um, I started dancing back in 1998. Uh, when I came home from college, I was looking for something to do. So I took a community college class and um, we went on a field trip to Frankie's Blue Room in Naperville. And then I went every week after that. I got hooked. All right. And then uh, at what point did you say to yourself, I love this so much that I want to start telling showing everybody else how to do it. <laughs> I actually didn't decide to start teaching. I uh, started dancing with a partner back then. His name was Irwin, and he wanted to teach and kind of swept me up with that. So I kind of fell into it. <laughs> All right. Well, but now you've been a teacher for how many years? Oh, my goodness. Uh, like 13. Okay. Well, and I can attest that you are a very good teacher because by the end of that lesson, I almost knew what I was doing. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Almost. Excellent. Well, that's good. Is that your first lesson? Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, almost knowing what you're doing on your first lesson is pretty dang good. Well, thank you. <laughs> well, you're welcome. <laughs> All right. Carrie, enjoy the rest of the evening, and thank you for talking with us. Thank you so much. Have fun tonight. Well, we We are here speaking with Jenny Thomas. Hi, Jenny. Hi, nice to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you as well. Now, um, I hear that you're a pretty good swing dancer. Um, I've been swing dancing a little while, yes. Actually, uh, I've been told that you are a world-class, world-famous uh, swing dancer and uh, teacher. What, what would you say about that? Well, I teach all over the world, put it that way. And um, my partner, my ex-dance partner and I were the first international teachers here in Chicago. All right, so I'm talking to the right person. Going back uh, late 1990s, actually, yes. 
So um, I, I'm going to guess that you're not from around here originally. No, you can tell by the accent, right? Yeah, yeah, it was a giveaway. Yeah, English. So, so how did you end up in Chicago? Um, well, I visit every so often and uh, come to see friends. Okay. And uh, where are you located now? Uh, located in England right now. I live in London. Wow, so you came here just for us, just for today? Yeah, just for you. That is amazing. I'm teaching actually a workshop on Sunday for Carl and Carrie. Okay, yeah, we, we spoke with Carrie. Very nice people, aren't they? Yeah, I worked with her kids the other day at the dance school, um, at a, a regular school, and she's uh, taught them a routine that I choreographed called Shake That Thing. So seeing these elementary kids doing my routine was pretty awesome, actually. And they got it, though, right? Uh, they did, yes. They probably did better than I did uh, during the lesson tonight. I don't know. You, I hope you weren't watching me because I... No, I wasn't watching you. Good, good. So, anyway, um, where uh, where can we find more information? Do we have uh, like do you have videos that we can see of you dancing? Maybe your championship... Uh... Well, well my, in my generation, it was sort of a VHS and before YouTube, um, going back in the late 90s, I think you can see on YouTube us, uh, my, my ex-partner Ryan Francois and I, we were um, American Swing Dance Champions, US Open Swing Dance Champions. Um, we performed on Dancing with the Stars and we work on the TV show in England, the equivalent which is Strictly Come Dancing. Oh my goodness. All and right. so, you, so you think you can dance? And we choreograph for that show too. All right. What don't you do? Um, <laughs> I don't salsa. Oh, okay. So, real quick, and then we'll let you go. Actually, this is a question that I've wondered. Is there a difference between swing and Lindy Hop? Swing is a term which is a big umbrella. And swing is the music. This is in my opinion. And there are many different dances under the umbrella of swing. Such as? Um, there's Lindy Hop. There is East Coast Swing, West Coast Swing, there's Balboa, there's Shag. There's all these things that all come under the same umbrella. And you know all of them, right? I know all of them. I don't do all of them. What's your favorite? <laughs> definitely, definitely Lindy Hop. Are you going to be at the Lindy Hop uh, Championships coming up? Uh, no, I'm not going to be here, unfortunately. I'm sorry. You'll have to check it out on YouTube. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Jenny, for talking with us today, and have a good evening. You're very welcome. Thank uh, you. So without further ado, uh, Michelle and I are super lucky, and, and we're delighted to be able to bring you Miss Jubilee and the Humdingers, all the way from St. Louis, the first band we ever hired, actually, at Strike City Swing. And we couldn't be happier about it. Here they are. We are here with Miss. Valerie Jo Kirchhoff, also known as Miss Jubilee. Hi. Hello. It is so wonderful to talk to you. Thank you. Thanks so much. It's great to be here tonight. So we are in the middle of a break here, and we we just heard your first set, and you guys are really, really good. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us, because yeah, you traveled to get here, tell us where you're from. Sure. Uh, well, we're from St. Louis. Um, but then we'd come up here and we do whole weekends up here sometimes and luckily sometimes dance events too. Yeah, so um, I think I saw on your website that you were at Untitled last night? We were at Untitled. In, in the city, how did that go? It was wonderful. It's a really cool place. Uh, it's the complete balance of like a modern, you know, dining place to go to and a speakeasy all in one. Uh, what do, you, what do you think about this room, though? Oh, man. We walked in, and instantly we were like, yes. I think we all actually said that. Um, this is this is the kind of room that this music should be in. I mean, it's got the, the all-in-one. The stage is in there. The dance floor is there. It's perfect. How did you get started with this kind of music? Because, you know, you're a young lady, and um, it's just not very common to find, you know, people your age enjoying and, and being so good at, at jazz and swing and things like that? Sure. Um, well, I spent probably almost about 10 years as a swing dancer. So before I ever thought I would have a band, I was dancing. Uh, in about 97 was when I started dancing. And in the mid-2000s, in St. Louis at least, there weren't a lot of great bands to go out and see. So 
the the quality and the energy of dancing kind of became what you could get out of DJ music, which is never going to be quite the same. There's a different energy there. Uh, so I was lucky enough to know a few musicians, and I actually knew some people who had had a band and it didn't work out. And the drummer who's now in the band, he actually had helped form that band. So I kind of I was talking to him and I. I said, I think I'd like to do this. I think that I would really want to have a band and I want it to be a really awesome dance band. So it actually, it started off just as kind of a gamble to see what would happen. That was about seven years ago now. It looks like that gamble paid off. Yes, yeah, yeah. Def Congratulations. Thank you. If our listeners and viewers want to know more about Miss Jubilee, where, where can we find it? <laughs> At any show, no. <laughs> no, um, we have a, we have a, a, a website. It's miss-jubilee.com. So there's the dash in there, you have to remember. And also, we're, we're, we have a large presence on Facebook also. So it's an easy way to find us. Thank you so much thank for you. your music and for talking with us tonight. Oh, yeah, thank you so much. Thanks for being here. If our listeners and viewers want to get involved with Tri-City Swing, what should they do? Well, we have a website. It's uh, tricityswing.webs.com, right? Yes. Get it right? Uh, we have a Facebook group, which is just Tri-City Swing on Facebook. There's a meetup group. We've, we've got a, an, as many avenues as we can out there, but um, we're pretty easy to get a hold of. You can even drop us an email at tricityswing at gmail.com. So, we're, we're fairly open. It's it's pretty much a two-person operation at this point, so you're not going to go through a lot of bureaucracy. <laughs> we have a lot of really amazing things coming up right now. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but Carl uh, Linder and Carrie Willis are taking over our classes, and they are some of the best teachers, I think, in the United States um, to teach swing and Lindy Hop. And uh, we have a next our next dance coming up on April 19th. 19th. Uh, at Side Street Studio Arts in Elgin, which is this beautiful urban gallery space um, with this really killer, uh, they call it kick brass, uh, early jazz band. Like a lot of horns, a lot of heavy, like really great early early jazz stuff. So it's going to be really fun. Uh, Chi Town Hot Shots. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we're, we're really excited about Chi Town Hot Shots because they're, they're a new band, but they're not, you know, they've been doing this, they've been playing jazz a long time. The last time we went to see them, two of the band members were called away for a jazz emergency. <laughs> a jazz emergency. Yeah, I think they had to run down to Chicago Jazz Orchestra to fill in for someone like last minute. So they're they're top notch. They're at the top of their game, and they they've put together this little group that's just like killer. I mean, it's they're an amazing group. Well, I'm I'm looking forward to a lot more events with you guys because I love this kind of music. Uh, the dancing part, uh, I'm going to have to work on. We'll work but. on that. We'll work on that. Yeah. All right. Thank you. And I want to thank you guys for, for taking the initiative and, and for getting this thing going because I think it's fabulous. And I want you to keep me updated. All right? Absolutely. 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 We'll do it. Yeah, sign up for our Facebook group. You'll get it all. All right. <laughs> Kevin and Michelle Green, ladies and gentlemen.